Mass outbreaks in Pokemon Legends Arceus is driving everyone insane because people are saying there are so many different ways of approaching them with catching, with battling. But this video is going to really be about how you can really play around with the mass outbreak. What happens when you battle Pokemon? What happens when you catch Pokemon? What happens when you go into a multi-battle? And you're going to kind of see how we can really take this mass outbreak from one and make it have many different possibilities. All right, so we got a Hisuian Growlithe outbreak on the map. So I'm going to go ahead over here and do this. All right, we are here at the Growlithe outbreak. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and catch every single one of these Growlithe in the outbreak. I'm not going to battle them. I'm just going to catch them and show you their stats. I'm using my Sticky Glob to catch them because they are aggressive Pokemon. Okay. All right, so caught them all on the first time. And now we're going to go to camp and I'm going to just go over the stats with you. So to make this easy, I made my first box an empty pasture so that way i could just go in and look at all the stats here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop open a little excel sheet here and put down all the information of every single growlithe we have here all right so here are all the growlithe what i did was i have a google sheet up on as you can see on the right side of the screen i have the method written down whether it's a male or female the level of the pokemon and their nature if for some reason we end up in a situation where there's two males the same level and the same nature. I made a note of exactly their weight and their height on a separate category, just in case we do run into that mix up. Now, as you can see on the right side of my screen, there are exactly 12 Growlithe there. And all I did was reset my game to the same save. So I have not changed anything in terms of how I was to approach my first outbreak. The only difference is I'm going to battle Pokemon. Now there was a content creator that has made a video and is still keeping it up called 100% shiny. And the method discussed in that video is you need to battle five Pokemon in order for the shiny manipulation to occur. Now, I'm gonna tell you why this is very stupid. We're gonna go ahead and battle five Pokemon. And what you're gonna notice is we're gonna end up with a leftover of seven, right? Because battling five would mean seven are left, which would give us our total of 12 Pokemon. So what you're gonna see is the results after I battle one by one individually these Growlithe from this encounter. Okay, so the first Growlithe I'm fighting is a male level 33. So from our chart, you can tell that this one's either the calm one, the rash one, or the hasty one. So we're taking out one of these here. So that's not gonna be on our list later. So it's gonna go ahead and take it out with a nice water pulse. By the way, when someone is supposed to test a method and say it's 100% correct, what you're supposed to do is test things out and write it down. It's that simple to be responsible and, you know, inform people who are watching that, hey, you know, I'm going to test these things out so I don't put out false information. All right, this is another level 33. So we're taking that out. So that's another one. This is a level 34 female Growlithe. So that one's either going to be the level 34 brave one or the level 34 modest one. So here we go. Another single battle. Simply do a water pulse. Take it out. So by looking at my chart, you guys can already figure out which ones are going to match up to what. Okay, I have now battled five Pokemon, and I'm going to catch the rest. All right, as you can see, all the reported Pokemon in the outbreak seem to have been gone. So what I'm going to do is just head back to the camp, and we're going to take a look at the stats, and I'm going to write them down. So just as we stated, there are going to be seven Pokemon left in this outbreak because we have taken out five of them via battle. All right, so I noted all the Growlithe we have from this battling five and then catching the rest. And as you can see from this chart, we have seven Pokemon here. And if you look above, they have matching ones. So you can see the method here. We caught after five battles. This is a male level 33 hasty. And if we look up and we just go to the level 33s, male 33 hasty, it's the exact same one. You continue on down, male 35 calm we go back up to our first example here we go male 35 calm wow look at that it's almost as if all the pokemon here are exactly repeated from the first method so from all this data it simply means that catching pokemon and battling one pokemon at a time equals the same pokemon that will come next so it doesn't matter you're going to end up with the same pokemon you're not going to get a shiny just because you battle one and you're not going to get a shiny just because you catch one if the shiny is in that pool of pokemon via the one battle method or the one catch method it's going to be there so do not waste your time trying to battle each one just go ahead sticky glob them or stun them and catch them it's that simple okay i'm really glad that that's out the way and now you all understand because i just showed you a great example of it now what i'm going to do is i'm closing the software again and we're rebooting up 
the exact same instance again. I'm not leaving and I'm not going to Jubilee Village. And I'm going to show you something very different here. Now, here are where things are starting to get a little more interesting, okay? We're still in the same outbreak, which means all the Pokemon there or the first four Pokemon are going to be exactly the same as when we caught them during this outbreak. So four Pokemon are going to be the same, okay? Because we have not left to go exit Jubilee Village and come back. We are in the same area. We just reload from the camp and we're going back to this Hisuian Growlithe outbreak. Now, the difference in our approach is I'm going to knock out four Pokemon via battling in a 4v1. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we have initiated the 4v1. So uh, these guys are going to be uh, pretty easy to take out. So we're just going to bulldozer one at a time here. So there's a level 34 one taking it out. We are taking out the level 35 one. 35 male. We're taking out this 35 male. And we're going to be taking out this level 33 male. Okay, now we've taken out the first four, which is very interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and catch the rest. Okay, the reported Pokemon seem to have been gone. And now I'm going to go back to camp and we're going to check its stats. Okay, so after battling four Pokemon, the math seems to still check out. And the remainder from not taking out four Pokemon is having eight Pokemon left over. Okay, I have marked down all the information on the Pokemon that we got via the knockout four Pokemon in a 4v1 battle and catch the rest. And as you can see, the Pokemon here are literally not the same as the first outbreak at all. None of them are. And if they have the exact same nature and are male, their height and their weight check out to be different. So... It is very interesting to note that when you knock out four Pokemon in a 4v1 battle, you basically get a whole set of new Pokemon that spawn afterwards. So because we got different Pokemon here, that means there was a possibility of actually being able to get a shiny Pokemon. Unfortunately, in this example, it did not become a shiny Pokemon. But the fact is we got different Pokemon and in some people's cases, when they do this, they're going to be able to get shiny Pokemon from this. Okay, reloaded back at the exact same outbreak again. And what we're going to do is now do a 3v1 versus these Growlets and see the results of what we get. All right, so we got into a battle with three of the Growlet, three aggroed on me. And the levels are 35, 33, and 34. So again, 35 male, 33 male, and the 34 female. These are the ones we're fighting right now, okay? So let's go ahead and go for it. Take these guys out. All right, all these Growlets have been taken out. All right, time to catch them. Reported Pokemon seem to get, be gone. Let's go ahead and check out their stats. So because we only battled three, we're going to have nine Pokemon totally because nine plus three is equal to 12. So let's go check their stats. All right, after checking, I made a few adjustments to the chart. So if we go back up to the top, I highlighted in blue the first four Pokemon that you're always going to see in the first encounter. Now, because I did a 3v1 battle and caught the rest, my first Pokemon is obviously going to be male 35 com, especially if I didn't battle it. So one of them is definitely going to repeat from the first one here. Now, interestingly enough, we had some Pokemon that actually repeated from the 4v1 battle. Uh, I had the male 33 rash 100% uh, repeat with this one, and we had similar natures and levels with some of them but then male 33 timid female 33 naive male 35 relax and male 34 naughty were all different growlets so basically what this is coming down to is each pokemon this is going to get really complicated here each pokemon can branch out into their own pathways when you multi-battle you kind of initiate a new branch so when you do 4v1 you're advancing your pokemon completely into a whole entire different group when you're doing 3v1, you're obviously going to have one left over from the first original outbreak. And then once you knock out the three Pokemon in a 3v1 battle, you're then going to initiate some Pokemon that have repeated from the 4v1. And then you're going to get some other new Pokemon showing up as well. So what I think really matters is the order that you go into. Again, this is really complicated and you really don't have to do any of this stuff when you're doing mass outbreak hunting. But this is just going into the nitty gritty details of what you can do in a mass outbreak and how you can keep trying to manipulate it in order to get things. Now, I've only knocked out Pokemon and caught the rest. But essentially, if you keep knocking out Pokemon, you can keep moving forward and making different possibilities with different Pokemon spawning. And it's very possible for you to do these different branches and eventually get 
a shiny Pokemon. It's definitely possible without having to go to Jubilee Village and coming back. If you're a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and are watching what happens when something changes and branches off into a different timeline, and then that can branch off into a different timeline, that's basically what's happening with these outbreaks. By multi-battling a couple of them, you're branching out into something else. Things are now going to get fun. What I'm going to do is go back to Jubilee Village here. And you know that when we go back to Jubilee Village, things are going to reset, right? That's what we're told. That's what we're taught. That when you come back in, things are going to advance forward or we call it a second chain or coming back to or calling it the number two outbreak. You know, just repeating. So here it is. We have Growlithe on our map again. It's still over here. We're going to go over to it. And what I'm going to do this time is catch every single one in the outbreak. And then we're going to check its stats. And I'm not going to really spoil it, but we're going to have something very interesting that you're going to now know from these outbreaks. All right, here we are at the second outbreak. It is now time. Now, please note, I am not battling any of them right now. I am just catching them. That's all I'm doing. All right, the outbreak is caught. I'm going back to town. And now, get ready for this when we open up the stats and I show you this. Now, here's where the fun begins. On the first outbreak, we knocked out four Pokemon. And then we got a whole entire different list of Pokemon here, which we marked down in this video. This time we went to Jubilee Village, came back. And what's interesting is, look at this. Every single one of these Pokemon, when we came back to Jubilee Village, came back again on the second chain, the second day, or when you advance for the first time, is going to be exactly the same as when we knocked out a Pokemon. The only difference is the extra four that have now appeared because it's another day and we knocked out four Pokemon in the first encounter. Therefore, we couldn't have 12. But now when we come back to the second one, the second day or the second chain, now there's an extra four at the end, which are new because it's part of the 12. But the other eight all repeat. What does this mean by doing a 4v1 in one outbreak, having a 4v1 battle and knocking out all those Pokemon? You then unlock the secret cheat code to seeing the next outbreak of the next day or the second chain or when you do the advance so you can see ahead of time now check this out knock out four pokemon in total in a 4v1 battle to get the next day's pokemon if the next four pokemon appear and you battle them all again and knock them all out you're then going to get the third day's pokemon or the third chain's pokemon that show up in the next four and then anything else after that's going to be that chain unless you do the battle so this is a very interesting trick if you want to know what's going to happen on the next chain as you keep going on. So keep that in mind. If you haven't comprehended anything I said in the video, go ahead and go back if you need to watch it. All right, so here is a, a video of me during my stream. You can see the other Phil somewhere in the behind me. And what we're doing is we are Outbreak Shiny Hunting on live stream, right? For this Pokemon over here. And we are on our 16th chain. So basically, I've loaded into Jubilee Village and come back. This is my 16th time here. This, or you can say this is your... 15th advance from your first one or the 16th day whatever however way you want to phrase it right this is my 16th time coming in here and this is my outbreak chaining you know i'm just going through this this is a normal motion for me during my chains i don't think anything about it and i know that battling them or single battling them is going to just lead into the same situation so single battling does nothing right i'm gonna i'm gonna keep catching them because it does the exact same thing there's no difference here sticky glob and then catch now you can see that there is an alpha that has spawned and alpha has appeared uh it's part of the outbreak because i'm just catching and showing up so in this whole entire set of pokemon there it is and there i also have a shiny so now you can see that there is a shiny and that you can see there is a regular one on the screen so an alpha and a shiny are on the screen and i go ahead and i catch both and then i get a call from austin to you know you know test something out midstream so what we do is I go ahead and I repeat the whole entire situation again. Let's go a little forward here. I reboot my game. And the difference this time is that I am now going to go into multi-battle with them. So my Darkrai goes into 2v1s with Pokemon, taking two of them out, uh, knocking them out. So I keep going. I'm doing these multi-battles. I, I don't really count if I'm doing three or two, but I'm definitely changing things by what you saw in this video. Things are not normal. And at a certain point, I'm starting to realize that, hey, you know what? Nothing else is really spawning here. I haven't gotten my alpha by now. Uh, I, these are the last four Pokemon, by the way, of this outbreak. I haven't gotten my alpha at all. What the heck is going on here? And my shiny hasn't even shown up at this point. Things are different because by now I had my alpha or my shiny. So we basically changed the whole entire thing. And this is why people are losing shinies. So if you are losing shinies within mass outbreaks, 
it's most likely because you are multi-battling and the only way for you to find your shiny again after you're done is to recreate the exact scenario which means you have to know or record what you're doing during the outbreak in order to get that shiny Whew. all right everyone breathe after that that was a lot of information but let's dumb it down real quick for you guys catching one pokemon and battling one pokemon is exactly the same thing in a mass outbreak when you do a 4v1 battle of the first four pokemon of an outbreak and defeat them all you then will start to see what would happen on the second chain or the next advance or the second day when you are able to exit jubilee and come back it'll be that set of pokemon continuing forward if you continue to knock out the next four pokemon after that in a 4v1 battle you will then see the third days and the remaining pokemon of that group if you play around with 3v1s or 2v1s you are then manipulating different things that are going to happen in the outbreak and you're creating different branches of what could possibly happen you can do whatever you want with that just make sure that when you are experimenting with these 3v1s or 2v1s that you are marking down the pokemon natures and stats and the exact pathway you're going and make sure it's the exact same three you knock out all the time so that's a fun thing that you guys can start to play around with and write down and take information and data on it so if you were confused with clickbait videos on the internet about 100 percent methods of doing something and it doesn't happen well now you know and you won't follow that mistake and make it again i've provided as much evidence as i can in this video i'm sure my buddy austin john plays is also providing evidence in his video and that's it guys this is the video I hope this really helps you with your mass outbreaks. Again, stick to the simple one. It's going to be at the end of this video, the regular mass outbreak shiny hunting video. Go ahead and watch that if you have it on how to shiny hunt. And that's it. This is the video. I hope this helped. Uh, this is fun making, <laughs> but I'm glad you're able to see all the results. My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.